very good day students this is professor kv hirivadu once again i am here to teach you the concept of the evaluation of english language especially for the current system in indian evaluation and its methodology because the, for the contemporary application study we need to study about the concept of the evaluation of english language especially in present system of india dear students we know that the language is a means through which a child contemplates past grasp and the present and even approaches of the future it goes without saying that the language plays an important role in the mental emotional and even social development of a person of course that uh, though english is a foreign language it occupies an unique position in our country whether we are at home in state or out of it in the country special of away from it so english is a important and even it continues to hold unique position in our daily today and just day to day life language is a utmost important in our lives and according to the jasperance language is nothing but a set of human habits so the purpose of a this which is given expression to thoughts and feelings and especially to important them to others so language may be said as a method by which a person expresses thoughts and feelings in which a, such a way that they can be understood by others when we think about the important of a language in expression we can remember the first story and especially that language is the story of tower of and see men had grown very proud to the point of believing that they very might as god and so they decided to build a great tower that would reach the sky the concept of learning especially for the language so it has been greatly influenced by the psychological study of learning process and as a result actually it is much more widely important then has been customary in the popular use of them and the psychological concept of a learning that goes far beyond learning directly from a teacher and learning through study or practice it includes that learning of skills of or acquisition of a language as it also refers to a language especially learning of a language to learn and even learning to think the modification of attitudes and even the acquisition of an interest in social values and even the changes of the personality so the language learning includes all kinds of language especially learning for which no formal provision is uh, see what made do teaching and even the language learning in the area i just first uh, as a first language acquisition goes on without any teaching the reason for this is that the process of language acquisition in the child is a biological process of a growth and just maturation rather than as one of the social learning of a teaching but actually learning second language is a different issue and it actually the learning second language is a different issue so the question is what a provision must be made to help these individuals to learn second language there is a great question so that language teaching can be defined as the activities which are intend to bring about language learning so the language teaching includes just individualization interaction and even self study you are calling as a computer assisted instruction nowadays actually we are just undergo for what so many medias like uh, just your very in advanced tools like yes you are holding a mobile phones smartphones and even just you are sitting in front of a computer because most of the time today because of due to covid 19 we just usually just sit in front of a computer and just you go through those online classes and suppose just we can consider this is a very best example for the computer assisted instruction especially use of media sport just called supporting activities such as teaching materials we know that the tlm teaching learning materials just we call teaching materials and even teaching grammar just call dictionaries and training to teachers especially of making a necessary administrative provision so they just fall under the concept of teaching of course we can say that and even for since language teaching is a very defined as activities 
intend to bring about language learning because a theory of a language teaching always implies a concept of language learning because a good language teaching theory would meet the condition of a learning as in the best possible ways and dear students that learning as a language is not an intellectual activity try to understand because when just we undergo for any psychological thing we can understand that learning a language is not an act especially actually it is an intellectual activity it's not a intellectual activity but for the child in the same way as learning uh, you're calling as arithmetic or a physics so of course of course because sometimes we can uh, say that in my earlier class just even I, I have given an example of the same problem of an arithmetic uh, and even just we said that when the question is a uh, uh, any number of studies of course that it is a more development of some uh, what do you call that innate skill uh, which is very human being as in the uh, learning of this function and the only training the child needs to learn language is that of being talked to or even the being present when other people talking so this process the child automatically begin uh, just with the sounds individual words groups and even words with the finally sentences because when actually we start to think about the very 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 first thing in maybe um, what do you call that that grammar aspect we can say that that uh, what do you call that uh, sentence is a group of words and just they may give a complete sense or a meaning and uh, see uh, this uh, very uh, process so the language learning depends upon the uh, this quantity of language materials that the growing child is exposed to dear students uh, now the question is by learning uh, any mother tongue of any other region of uh, or any foreign language one cannot learn another language taking learned as a basis that understand so the language one cannot learn as just taking the learned as one as a basis but actually the each language differs in all aspects except in a few cases that sentence pattern differs meaning and even sound differs for example there are some sentences like we are calling a subject object verb of course in uh, our regional language when just we say to say that in maybe kannada language of course we can say that the subject object verb for example i say that when uh, we are doing like that avanu kelasavannu madutane definitely i can understand that avanu here actually this uh, stands as a subject and kelasavannu isn't it that's an object and even madutane uh, that's for verb but especially in english it actually turns like subject verb object when suppose we just change it in the same kannada avanu madutane kelasavannu that that's why i'm telling in 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 english uh, he does a work not uh, a uh, he works does because in kannada avanu kelasavannu madutane as usually just suppose you translate the same thing as from kannada to english uh he works does nothing so this becomes he works so he does a work so actually this is because what i'm telling um we can say that the rama killed ravana yes plus v plus o rama killed ram because killed is a past participle of the uh, kill that is a present form we can say that uh, and uh, when suppose this becomes rama ravana killed what do you this actually rama ravana killed because that's called subject object and verb so this is the pattern what actually i am telling so the main purpose of any language in a communication that communication is a process which actually involves the participation of two the speaker as well as the listener try to understand so in many classes i had been telling the same thing that the participation of two the one is speaker as well as the listener so actually what is important here is to know that what is getting across to the listener and what is not hence we strive to make our word symbols clear so that other understand our feelings opinion and especially thoughts so this is about the very introduction of the first part so in my next period once again i shall bring the second part of the same uh, the process of evaluation for the present system and uh, whatever just i did today this time is about language and even acquisition and is all about the introduction so in my next bit i once again i shall be there for you uh, for the next chapter once again this is professor kv hero thanks have a nice time take care of yourself